step away from the scissors. Leave it long. It's gorgeous. These are just a few of the really sweet comments I received on this Facebook post that I posted last week where I mentioned I might be considering cutting off my long gray hair. My husband and kids say the same things. They love my long silver hair and most of the time I love it too. So why am I thinking about cutting it? Well, there are a number of reasons, but these are the main ones. My long hair takes forever to dry, whether I air dry it or blow dry it. It is hot, so hot in the summer. It gets in my way. I always have to wear it up when I'm cooking, eating, or exercising. Despite my best efforts, my ends are yellow and discolored, probably from mineral buildup and from experimenting too much with hot tools. See how cool the top of my head is and how blonde looking the ends are, that's yellowing. That's not my natural color. I'm not gifted at styling, so I'm either wearing my hair straight down like this or tucked into a messy bun. And honestly, some days my long silver hair seems like it would be better suited to a different woman. A woman who meditates, who runs through fields of flowers in a long flowing dress, who drinks pina coladas while listening to Jimmy Buffett, who has daughters and who's calm. But me? I'm a type A anxious control freak who spends her days listening to true crime podcasts. I drink gin and tonics and I sing along to the Beastie Boys. I jump rope. I have sons. And if I was going to run through a field of flowers, it would be while wearing a t-shirt and leggings, and I would probably only ever be caught running if I was being chased by a bear. On top of all that, I prefer to wear clothes that are a bit more tailored, and I feel sometimes like those type of clothes look better with a shorter hairstyle like a bob. As you can see from the headlines, bobs are all the rage right now. They're timeless, they're stylish, and I think silver bobs are especially gorgeous. I've had many bobs over the years, starting with the quintessential 1980s asymmetrical bob. I loved stomping around campus in my Doc Martin boots, my vintage dresses, and my asymmetrical bob. I wanted to share a picture of that asymmetrical bob with you, but the only picture I could find was so ridiculous that I just can't. Okay, forget it, here you go. Can you get more Human League and The Cure than this? I don't think so. The idea of cutting my hair into a bob always sounds appealing until I remember why I keep it this length. My hair is thick and wavy. When I cut it into a bob, it either flips up at the ends like Mary Tyler Moore, or it poofs into a pyramid shape like Roseanne Rosanna Dana. My hair has to be pretty long for the weight of it to keep those two things from happening. So then I think, well, what about short hair? When I was a little kid, I almost always had short hair. I looked like a young Paul Simon. The reason is because I was a maniac who frequently got gum stuck in her long hair and tangles up the wazoo. I think for my mom, it was simply easier to keep my hair cut short. But once I could be in charge of maintaining my own hair, I almost always preferred it long. I've actually had women tell me that I wear my hair long because I'm shy or lacking in self-confidence, but neither of those things are true. There are no hidden psychological reasons why I keep my hair long. I just prefer the way it looks on me. There's also a common misconception that some of us wear our hair long to try to look younger but I don't think hair length has anything to do with age. I like being my age. I have no desire to hide it. Here's some of the other things I like about having long hair. I have more styling options, even if I don't always take advantage of them. I can wear my hair up or down. If I could ever figure out how to style it properly, the sky would be the limit. When I wear it up, it doesn't get in my face. When I have bangs or a bob and my hair falls into my face, it drives me absolutely bonkers. I love my natural hair color, and when I have long hair, I get to see a lot more of it. And honestly, I adore the fact that long hair and older women drive some people bananas. I get a huge kick out of pissing those people off. And on the flip side, I love showing women of all ages that it's okay to wear long hair over a certain age, or even if it's gray. So now it probably sounds like I'm talking myself into keeping my long hair, right? Well, before I answer that, I just wanna ask you one thing. Can you relate to any of this? Do you go through these types of mental gymnastics when it's time for a big hairstyle change? A lot of people will just say, it's hair, cut it, and it grows back but I've never found it to be that simple. Let me know in the comments and then come right back so I can tell you what I'm going to do next. Okay, here's what I'm going to do and make sure to stay to the end for a big surprise. I'm going to sit on this for a couple of weeks so I don't make a big decision that I'm going to regret. While I'm waiting, I'm going to start watching a bunch of YouTube tutorials about how to style long hair. If you have any you can recommend, please let me know. I want to try a little harder before I decide it's time to get rid of all this. And here's the most radical thing I'm going to do. Since my ends are yellowed anyway, and I'm probably going to cut them off, I'm going to experiment with color on my hair for the first time in six years. Now don't freak out, I'm not talking about all over color. I have no desire to ever do that again. What I'm talking about is just coloring the ends in some fun colors. Shrine makes these non-permanent hair dye drops that are safe for Silver Sisters. You just add a few drops to your favorite conditioner and you get a temporary burst of color. Now, speaking of color, make sure to check out this video, which will help you pick out the perfect colors to go with your gray hair. 
And if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, fun, or informative, please do hit the like and subscribe button so that you can see my future videos. Thank you so much.